doing the arm lock. Let's talk about this arm lock, it's Uragi Aku. So, opponent is holding, and first of all, I take his hand off my gi. If I cannot take his hand off my gi, doesn't matter, because I can use the hand that is holding the gi to do the arm lock. Okay? So I will just grab it with the fingers underneath and peel it like a pomelo. Okay? Like a thick pomelo. And then I turn my whole body. We have uh, two insights about this. First of all, this is a weak arm lock. Why is Uragiaku a weak arm lock? It is a weak arm lock because when I rotate the wrist, he can do many things to absorb the rotation. So first of all, he will rotate the shoulder and then he can bend forward. And then if he wants to, he can turn around and elbow me in the face. So I must be careful when I'm doing Uragiaku. It looks good, but it's a problematic thing. So how can I control the fact that he will twist his way out of this? First of all, I must do it explosively. When I do it explosively, there is less time for him to do a rotation or to absorb. Then, I might knock him out or stun him before doing the arm lock to prevent the rotation. It's one way of doing it, stun him with a daken. Or, I can, in the middle of doing Uragiaku, turn it into Muso Dori, or Musha Dori. So if he holds me, I can stun him. And please do not ask me why I didn't hit him in the face. I like him. Okay, so I can do this, and then when I want to do it fast, this is enough. And then I can join this with the musodori. So now actually it's another arm lock. Another way to do it, turn the hand away, hit, and just... The uragiaku, a very central arm lock, is better off if I pull him fast to the ground. Because if he's high up, he can turn around. So I pull him fast to the ground. The way to pull an opponent faster to the ground is to have an axis leg. Look at it now. One, the leg that is closer to him is the axis leg. And now I will pull him and I will rotate around this leg. The other leg is like a balance. Allows me to do a very fast pulling without losing my center of gravity. Yes. And we already have it faster, okay? Finishing this arm lock can be done in several ways. One, two, three. Now I must pin him down. There are several ways to do it. Let's go from a low level to a higher level. First low level is put pressure on the elbow and put my knee on this muscle. Okay, it's the triceps, the muscle that extends the elbow. Let's do it from another angle. So the opponent is on the floor, and I pin him down with the knee. This is not a foolproof technique, like this. Even though I have Take Ori here, and this is a painful technique, and I must be ready to really break. Okay, this is just painful. It's a pressure on the muscle. It is not a contract like all arm locks are. It's not a contract. Because if he does something bad, I put more pressure on the muscle, so what? It hurts a little bit. It doesn't matter. The danger is that he will gather base and roll on the closed shoulder like this. And he's out of it. So I must watch him diligently when we are doing it. And if he tries to gather base, 
punch him in the face. Now what is the other level of doing it? So this is the kata. I did not invent it. One, two. It surprised even him. Break the ribs, kick the head. First of all, it's a traditional technique. And then we have a moral obligation to say, this is not an ethical technique. Unless, I don't know, he is very, very dangerous, something, murder. Because he is on the floor, pinned down, and I kick his head. So this is unethical, and in most countries, illegal. Please be aware of it.